speaking of like your ministry, man, I feel like um, just from from what I've seen, it seems like the Lord has just supernaturally increased increased your ministry online. So tell me, like, when did the Lord kind of put it on you to start getting active in the in the Christian content creation space? And how has he kind of uh, accelerated that, molded that in you and just kind of given you, uh, obviously you're a wealth of knowledge. So how has he used that knowledge to just expand on your YouTube? Because you have about half a million subscribers on there, which is incredible, man. Yeah, and all, thank you so much, by the way. And all of that's organic. None of that is paid for or or any of the shenanigans that people will do to try to look like they have they have something. We, we're really not concerned with vanity metrics. What happened was, in the winter of 2019, I was in my office and I was visited by the Holy Spirit with a very stern and urgent question. He said, what would you do if church was entirely online? Wow. This is, remember, this is, this is the winter of 2019. Wow. In November. And it was so urgent. I stopped and I, I started putting some things together and I got a few key staff members together and I said, here's what the Lord asked me. What would we do if church was entirely online? And we began to implement some things in January, then in February, and then in March, the whole world shut down, and we were in a strategic position to minister to people online. And it was a direct result of obedience to the Holy Spirit. And then the Lord told us to start connecting the body and bringing the streams together and interviewing different people. And he just put his hand on it. And I asked him, I guess it was in the a year later, in the fall or winter of 2020, I said, God, what are you doing? Because some of the videos were getting you know, a quarter of a million, half a million views. And what we're just in the middle of nowhere in North Carolina why are you putting your hand on this? And he said, I'm giving you Goliath's sword. Powerful revelation where he showed me that David didn't kill Goliath only through the stone. That, that knocked Goliath to the ground. But the Bible said that he slew Goliath by taking Goliath's own sword. So he used enemy technology to defeat the enemy. And there's a pattern of that throughout scripture that God will take what the devil meant for evil and, and turn it, it around for good. Amen. When Haman builds gallows, to kill God's people before he can have a ribbon cutting ceremony, he's hanging by the end of the rope himself. And I believe with social media and with what you're utilizing with what you're doing, God is giving many faithful ministries, the sword of Goliath to swing against the enemy himself. And that's why we got to get serious about this. That's why we're so passionate about media ministry. My goal is to train a thousand ministers to reach a million people a month. That's my goal. Well, how are you implementing that? Well, with the Dio Media, we're beginning courses online. We're going to be doing an online community as well where people can join in through a Zoom where we can do discipleship through Zoom. And then once a year, we just started this. It is the only conference of its kind. It is a Christian media conference where this year, for example, August uh, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And if listen, if you just want the anointing, you want the Holy Ghost show up, we're going to have people from different sectors of the body of Christ that do media well or that lead well come together to show Christian business owners, pastors, media teams, uh, or just people who say, I've got a message from the Lord. I want to know how to get it out. And we're all going to be gathering in Charlotte on those three days just to dive in for intense training. And brother, we're going to have John Maxwell is going to be with us. Uh, Mike Signorelli, David Diga Hernandez, mm. Ruslan. Let's go. Um, Joseph Z, I mean, the, uh, Sean Cannell, Omar El Takrori, the list goes on and on. Todd Coconado, I don't know who else is going to be with us. It's going to be amazing, the event of the year, I think, and I don't wow. even know how this happened, but it's going to be in Charlotte. I encourage everybody, come come be with us. Is uh, Pastor Troy going? He better be going. His team his team's been coming out uh, and being a part and being doing our trainings. And they've done an amazing job. They've they've taken off and done some amazing work. Evan's always in the background here, taking they care. They recently business. passed a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, they just we were working with them, and they just took it to the next level and passed a hundred thousand subscribers as a result. So wow, um, we love working behind the scenes with these media teams and doing what we can to elevate them. But getting there in the building with a bunch of giant killers in August, of course, would be transformative for everybody, not just for the media team. The pastor needs to know what they're doing in front of the camera too, how to lead their media team, which is why we have John Maxwell there uh, as the keynote. And uh, we're actually going to have a, some people will be able to get, there's, it's a limited number of tickets where you can have a lunch with John Maxwell and do a Q and a with John Maxwell. So we're having that kind of environment. It's just going to be wow. amazing. That's amazing. And maybe me and uh, Taylor Perky can roll up. What do you think, Taylor? You trying to go? <laughs> Let's Come go. on, Taylor. 
Armedmedia.org. Armedmedia.org to register. That's amazing. All right. Yeah, we'll talk to Troy and we'll we'll try to make it happen. Hopefully, uh, I'll talk to my wife too because like I said, uh, we got something coming in August. Something but. a little more important. <laughs> yeah, barely. I'm just playing. <laughs> so either give birth, you know, a month before then or wait a month after. You got to figure that out before. You got to get there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate that, Alan DeDio. It means a lot. And yeah, man, your book is incredible, man. I think people are really going to gravitate towards it. Don't forget, everybody, it's called Summoning the Demon, AI, Aliens, and the Antichrist. It is a powerful book. And also, can can, can we just be honest here? Your cover, um, it didn't make me want to buy it. <laughs> it, it. It creeped me out a little bit. Why'd you choose this kind of cover? Because we want to get people's attention, and my son <laughs> likes to get creative, so this was actually... I don't know how to do non-creepy covers, so... Yeah. Oh, Evan's your son? Well, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Evan's my son. That's beautiful. I don't have the facial hair yet, but yeah. Oh, that's not me. That's a black screen. (laughs) There (laughs) There he is. is. Always in the background, Evan DiDio. That's amazing. Doing an amazing job. That's so cool. And he did the cover. He actually did it without the alien on it. And we had Elon Musk at the center. Yeah. Uh, But there were some issues with, uh, potentially with copyright. I don't know anything about that. So I said, let's slap an alien on there. I love it. uh, How's it doing so far? it's, It's doing amazing. Better than any. I've done five books. Uh, and lots of e-courses and stuff. This is by far doing better than anything else. So the amazing thing has been people coming to me, prominent ministers whose names everyone would know, who say, I've had an experience with this. Wow. And uh, people need to know, thank you for doing this. And I say, can I interview you? And they say, absolutely not. Because I don't want to, <laughs> they don't want to be, and you can't blame them. They don't want to be associated with it. But um, this is important. And it's good. The deception is going to rise. And this is meant to be a Bible study tool to show believers how to give an answer for the hope that lies within them. So I hope everybody will check out summoningthedemon.com or blame it on the Nephilim.com. Because no matter what's going on wrong in the world, you can always blame it on the Nephilim. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, everybody, make sure you go pick up this book. It's incredible. I love it. I have no problem coming on to testify about it if you want if you want me to. And I'll I'll, I'll drop a review oh, on Amazon amazing. as well for sure because I know that was oh thank you is helpful. Um, so that's that's incredible, man. I love that. And uh, man, powerful stuff that you got going on, man. It seems it seems like the Lord is just still increasing you. I love your heart for the for the for the ministries out there for, that are on the media side, just doing things as well. Uh, and and me and Troy talk about this a lot about collaborating and just like uh, uniting the body of Christ, especially in this space, because like you're saying, it's it's something that the enemy used for in his technology, but the, but the Lord is using it for good. So it's just so yes. cool to be able to like collaborate with you on this as well as like he's trying to connect me with Mr. Joseph Z as well. Uh, so that's going to be cool once that happens as well. So it's, it's special, special what you're doing. Joseph Z there. is amazing, by the way. And uh, so thankful for what you're doing. I like birds, too. You like birds? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that you would name your podcast that because you're not 40 yet, right? You're not, not 40. Not yet, just 30. Because it's after 40 that you start getting to the place where you're like, is that a, is that a, you know, is that a cardinal over there? Is that a blue jay? So you start really yeah, you're, you're ahead, of, ahead of your years. You start being really invested in it. Yeah, my wife yeah. bought me a bird, oh, yeah. my, my wife bought me a bird book and everything. So we went bird watching like for a season and everything. Like It's it, so much fun. It turned into a thing. Yeah. <laughs> And well, just, when you come to North Carolina, we'll do it. We'll we'll do some bird watching. Deal. All right, I'll, I'll put that in. The, I'll put that in the calendar. That'd be amazing, man. I love that. Well, I'm so glad you're here, man. Do you have anything you'd like to share with the people? Anything that you want to encourage them in, or any final last words you'd like to give to them before we head out? Only that you need to consider your connection with I Like Birds and whatever ministries you're a part of as missional, as mm-hmm. evangelistic, and be intentional about watching every program, commenting, and sharing. And when you share, don't just share. Pray over it as if that that video is going to transform someone's life and believe God that the right people will see it, that the right people will hear it. Be intentional about it and stay connected as we, it's going to get rough in 2024. It's going to get rough. And in early 2025, we've got to stick together. So stay close to ministries that you love, that you appreciate, stay connected and continue to help them get the message out. So thank you. I like birds. Thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. If you would like to see another short clip from this episode, you can do so here. Or if you want to see the full conversation, you can do so here. And make sure you subscribe on Patreon if you'd like to partner with us. You can do that at the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.